Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to get um, Windows XP on VirtualBox. Here is the ISO you will need. So, um, first thing you just want to do, turn on your computer. And then click your BIOS button, mine's F2. Okay, now what you want to do is go into boot sequence. Yeah. So about that, guys. Go into boot sequence and make sure the CD is on the very top. Yeah, okay, CD is on the very top. Make sure the CD up here is on the very top. And then go to um, advanced boot options and make sure this is on legacy. And not UEFI. Make sure it's not UEFI. And also go to SATA operations. That's probably under system configuration. And change this from AHCI to ATA. Uh, usually you will line up to do this if it's a DOE. But usually you won't have to do it if it's anything else. So once you have everything, um, since I didn't change anything, you won't have to apply. But click save and then click exit. Now open your disk. Sorry guys, I got stuck right there. And then you're going to want to put in your Windows XP ISO. And put that in there. And after you put the uh, CD in, just let it load. And then just press any key. Doesn't matter. And now you're in the setup. Just let that load. Okay, now here's the setup. Just click enter. And let it load. And then click F8. And now you probably won't have these. So these are all my partitions that I have. You probably won't have these partitions, but um, if you do, just choose one of them, and then format the partitions using the NTFs, and then click F for format. Okay, so it finished formatting. It's about to finish formatting. Now it's uh, checking the drive. Now it's copying files. I finished <coughs> copying files. Now it's just inspecting stuff. And then just click enter. It said press any key, but just don't do that. And that's Windows XP. But now it's, I guess, the first graphical part since, yeah. So, this will take a while. So now just click next. And then your name. I'm just going to name this one as XP. Like next. And then the product key. <clears throat> so here's the product key. You can just click next. And then just click next unless you want a password. <clears throat> and then click next. Uh, okay, just reset, and when it turns back on, just don't press any key. Just let it go. No, <laughs> no, son. Oh, no, just click OK. And then click OK up in this corner. And now you're in the startup. Just click next. Uh, not click right now. Not right now. Click next. And then your username.
I'm just going to name this one Windows XP and then click next and then click finish <coughs> And now you're here in Windows XP. There you go guys, this is completely Windows XP. You can do whatever you want. It's not virtual box, no borders. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video, bye.